Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Schwarzenegger Magic here. So, uh, about a week ago, I asked everybody, I know I said an update video. I said, you know, if you have any requests, feel free to send them in to me by, uh, via personal message, and I might do your trick. And this is going to be the very first requested video. This video was sent to me by Benji Taylor. Now, uh, I want you guys to check out his channel, and uh, also check out the video I am going to be doing a tutorial on. This guy has a fabulous channel. He puts a lot of time and effort into this channel, and uh, he also has a bunch of contests over there, and uh, I know you guys all love those things. Uh, so go ahead, check out his channel. Also, check out the link to his video. This is a fabulous trick. He's kind enough. He's going to let me do a tutorial, and uh, you guys really have to check it out. It, it's not too you know long of a video, and it, it's a great performance, so check it out. All right. So uh, let's get right into this trick. Basically, what you want to start out by doing is assuring your spectator that this is really a normal deck. Okay, this trick is so fabulous that you know they're gonna think you're using some sort of trick deck. So if if you can use uh, a deck from the spectator, that's even better. Uh, but if you do just have your own deck, which I'm assuming most of you do, um, just make sure you give the pack to the spectator so they can shuffle them, they can look at the faces and the backs and whatnot. Uh, that way they can really see that this deck is just a normal pack of cards. Alright, so let's get into uh, what you're going to start out by doing. You're going to have the spectator select any card at completely at random. So uh, let's say, I don't know, the Queen of Diamonds here. Uh, you put it on the bottom of the pack. And uh, now let's talk about what you do from here. Let's talk about the hand and grip uh, first. You're going to put your thumb on this side of the pack. You're going to have your middle finger, your ring finger, and your pinky on this side. And then on the bottom, of your, uh, your finger is going to be curled in. Your pointer finger is going to be curled in, holding their selection. Okay. Uh, from here, you're going to do a basic move. Uh, that's going to bring the queen to the top. But before we get into the main move on how to bring the card up and up and up, uh, we're going to talk about the card placement. So let's get right into that, shall we? So let's talk about the card placement. I've taken the seven out for a, a specific reason, and that is the pip, okay, on where the pips are, okay? Now, we're going to place the seven on the bottom, just like you would. Uh, now, basically, we're going to be talking about where you want to have the seven, okay? Would you want it farther out? Would you want it farther in? And it does, in fact, matter where this card is placed. Uh, it all depends on your hand size. If you're, you know, if your hands are large, rather large, um, it, you're going to be placing it farther in. If your hands are smaller, your card would be farther out. Now, I've gotten the 7 out uh, specifically for the pips. If you have smaller hands, okay, uh, you're going to be placing it until, pretty much until you can't see uh, this until you're at the tip of this pip right here. All right. So if I had smaller hands, I would place it in, and right there, I can barely see the tip. All right. So that that's my seven. I have small hands. That's where I placed it. If I had rather large hands, like I do, I would place it in farther, maybe until I can't even see that pip. So right there. Uh, basically, how you're going to test this, and this really is just an experiment. Uh, you really have to test it out yourself. Basically, if you were to extend your pointer finger, which should be holding the card, and extend it forward, how far does it come out? If it comes out too far, then you're going to push it in. You want the card to end so it just barely comes out of the pack, okay? Now what this is going to do is make the performance look like there's less movement going on. And when there's less movement, well, it, it looks more convincing, okay? Because you have a less chance of the spectator noticing. So I know that I have to put it in farther than the edge of that tip. So I may put it a little bit farther, and then I would try, I would push out the card. And I know, you know, that's about perfect, so that's how far I would put it in. Uh, so it's all about experience, okay, you just want to try it out and uh, whatnot, alright? So once you have that down, you're going to get into the basic move of getting the card to go up and up and up the pack until it gets all the way to the top. And you are really bringing this to the top. Many people think you might uh, be doing, uh, have some trick deck or whatnot, and that's basically why we shuffled it in the beginning, uh, let them shuffle it so that they know we actually don't have one, alright? Now, Here's the basic move you're going to be doing. You're going to cut the pack in about half, all right? So you got half. You're going to push that half about uh, less than half an inch forward, okay? Not a half an inch, so a little bit less. So I have this push forward. You now extend your finger. This is where the extension comes in. You're going to extend the finger, and you'll notice the card kind of hits the top of where uh, we push forward. You now pull that back, and all in one motion, it brings the card to the center of the pack. 
Uh, so let's go over that again. Once again, uh, you get a break at about halfway. You push that about less than half an inch forward. You extend your finger. That's going to push the card up, and then you pull it back. That then brings the card up about halfway. Uh, next thing you're going to do is get a break under the top card and do the same thing. Now, one thing I notice people often do is when they come and do this first one, all right? So you're doing your push, you push this forward, you push the card, and then pull it back. One thing I often notice is that the card often gets placed too far into the pack, and people, you know, don't realize this, and when they try to do the next one, they can't do it because it's too far in, so they're, when they extend their finger it doesn't really work uh, so it's very important that once you do this first one you know you pull it back and do it it's very important that you it, you know it's not too far in and also it's not too far out all right uh, I also at this point like to show the spectator it really did go to the center uh, it's not an illusion of any sort and also when you have it on the bottom show it's actually on the bottom that way the spectator knows you know wow it actually did jump to the center of the pack um, so the next one, you grab one card, you, you push one card forward, all right, and do the same exact move, all right, and pull it back, and now it's in the second position. The last one is just as easy. You take your middle finger, you extend, and pull back, and now it's on the top. Uh, this trick really does not require, there's not much to it, okay? It's going to take a repetition, just like anything else. If you want to get good at it, it's going to take a repetition. Now, I'm going to be giving you some hints as to how you can make this a little more convincing, okay? Basically, when you're doing this trick, you want to do a little bit motion to it. You don't want to just stand there and go, whoop, whoop, and then, whoop, look, it jumped, and then do it again. Oh, look, it jumped. You want to add a little bit of movement with your hands, okay? Not too much where it makes it look fake and you're doing something sneaky. You want it just enough so it looks almost natural, okay? So what I mean by that, if I were to take a randomly card, let's say they selected this one, it was in the center, and I was going to bring it up to the second position of the pack, what I want to do is add a little upward motion like that. I can't do it too well because I haven't practiced it very well. Uh, but basically, you do a little up and down motion with your hands at the same time, and it, it looks like the card actually jumping to the top. Now, if you have this down really well, this looks absolutely amazing. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is don't do it too much. Okay? You don't want a huge up and down motion. You just want to do it enough where it looks very convincing, okay? And that's going to take a little bit of practice and experiment, okay? Uh, so that's pretty much one way you can get this very, very convincing. Uh, the rest is just practice, guys. That, that's the simple, easiest way. Uh, you just got to practice this. Uh, and I'm sure with a little bit of practice, you can get it down pat. And uh, I'm sure you guys will do fine. Uh, so once again, if you have not seen the performance of this trick, please click the link here, check it out, and uh, then obviously you can always come back to my tutorial if you're confused. Uh, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below, and keep sending me those requests, guys. I do enjoy them. I have more to come as well. All right? Oh, look at that. Two times. Uh, so that's it, and as always, guys, remember, I'll be back.